Hello, and welcome back to my Ultima 4 playthrough series for Quest of the Avatar. We're pretty much right here where we left off, near Yalom. We went to the Moon Gate, went through the Moon Gate, and went to Moon Glow and, and the Lyceum last time. We've got the full Word of Passage, which is good. Uh, we didn't find any of the other clues I was hoping for, but we're going to uh, head north to... Uh, Scar Bray. So let's take a peek at the map. So we're down here in Yalom. We're at basically N, or I think it's CN is how that works. So we think we do, uh, let's see, am I right? Yeah, latitude is the vertical line. Well, latitude is vertical line. So that's, so we are at NC is how I should be reading that. And we need to get up here to H. B basically, so we've got to go north and just a titch, just a titch west. So let's get going. Let's board our ship. Now, um, actually, use the wheel. I got 99 there. Oh, I never noticed it. Once I'm out of the wheel, glows with a blue light. Um, let's exit the ship. Board. Okay. That was 79 before, and it stayed 79. And I wonder if that's, you know, because um, I, I thought that was strange. All right, so let's use the wheel again. With the blue light, we're at 99. All right, perfect. So we got to go north. Let's, of course, the wind's coming out of the north. So let's get past these aisles, and then we'll... Head to the west a little bit while the wind is northerly. I need to go a little bit more. All right, so we're coming up on land here. So where are we at now? We are at L and A, basically. So this is some... Just some islands. These are not where we want to be yet. We have to go much, we have to, well, not much further north. We're probably about halfway there at this point. And I think this is the mainland. So we're at J and C. Yep. So we got to probably just follow this coastline a bit. And we'll come to the islands where Scar Bray is at. There's all sorts of things that... Clear out these skellies. Those are surprisingly resilient skellies. Wow. As I said before, I'm really glad that we have unlimited ammo. <laughs> That took a lot more, uh, oops, too far. That took a lot more firing than I expected. All right, let's get into Scar Bray. And uh, we need to find food here. Yeah, because this place has got the cheapest food. Um, and then I think there were some, there, there are some reagents here that we need to buy as well, so... Let us, that's the mystic healer. We don't need any healing right now. We're all at full health. Food for thought. Here's the food. Am I interested in rations? Yes. 25 for 20. So how many packs of 25 would I like? If I did 100, that would be 2,000 gold. And that should be 2,500 packs. So if I said 200, oh, we can't get that many. Can I get 100? Yes. Okay, we got it. So it did cost about 2,000. 
Uh, but now we're at 2,700 food. Let's buy another 50. So now we're at 3,900 food. I, I, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. We might, I don't know, we might buy more. Um, that's leading out of town. Here's the herb place. Come on, dude, get out of my face here. Yes, I'm in need of reagents. Okay. So, uh, so let's see. So let's find out how much spider silk is here because I don't have that written down. And I want to com get, have a complete knowledge. So how much is spider silk? Six gold pieces. Which is kind of in the middle. Um because moon glows three and pause is nine. And well, I've got how many? I've got 40, 35. So let's buy 20 here. I mean, it's not as good a deal, but obviously we were just at moon glow. So it's, it's not paying the highest price. It's paying a middle price. But so now we know. Uh, yes, that's fine. Oh, shoot. I have to type in the amount, Keith. Yes. Uh, spider silk again. We said 20. I will pay 120. Okay, so now we've got 55 spider silk. All right. And so now let's check on, because I don't, also don't have the price here for blood moss. So let's... Ask about the price for blood moss, which is E, four gold pieces. This is actually the cheapest place to get blood moss because everybody else has got, um, is, is charging six. All right, that's good to know. I'm going to go ahead and buy 20. That'll get me up to 64. So that ought to do us, at least to start with. All right, I will pay 80. And then black pearl here we need and this has got the middle price so moon glow was nine pause is seven here it's eight mm -hmm. so i'm saving a little bit of money but not a lot um so let's see so uh but i need i want to get a bunch here because i've got eight so if i get 50 at eight well i'll let this thing do the math that's gonna be 400 gold pieces and yeah, I'm okay with that. We we've got we've got the gold. Let's spend it. Now ginseng. Ginseng should be four here, which is the same as pause. And we need we need a bunch of ginseng. B. For four gold pieces. Okay, good. Um so I've got nine. I think I want to get fifty. That'll be two hundred gold pieces. Absolutely. No. All right, so now we're going to mix some reagents. So let's kind of look at our spells that we have here and what we want to mix. I definitely need to mix some cure spells. We have none. Um, so we need to fix that. E is energy field. That's fine. F is fireball. I probably need to do, I've been doing, using some up. We're down to 15. I think at one point I had like 50. So I probably need to do some more fireballs. Uh, gate travel spell, we haven't used any yet. We need to actually use one of those soon. I want to see how that works. Um, and maybe we'll look into that. Um, who knows? Maybe we'll do that after I get done with this. We'll see how that goes. Um, all right. We got 6H, which is what's H? Oh, those are heal. We need to do more heals. Um, we got the five jinx. Haven't used those yet. We got the two kill spells. That's fine. I don't want any more of those. Ten light spells. Might do a few more of those. And then N is the negate. Might do a couple, three more of those. Get up to about five for that. Because that worked really well with the Balrons. And uh, I think I want to keep, I think I want to keep that up. Um, we got the opens. The O is the open. I wonder if I could use that instead of Jimmy Locks. I don't think so. 
I don't know. Maybe we'll try that next time. P is, but I don't need any more of those. P is protect. I don't need more of those. Q is quickness. That's fine. S is sleep. Eh, might use that once or twice, but I'm thinking Jinx might replace sleep, so I'm not going to do any more of those. I might do another couple three tremors. Um, I like that. I like that as, you know, for a big group of, of weighty people, weighty opponents. I like that idea. View, I might go ahead and, I don't know, I might just live with the four that we have. I mean, there's a couple places on, on the map here where I probably wouldn't mind doing a view, but most of the places, not so much. And actually, now think about it, I wouldn't, I, I would, uh, I probably would have used the view on um, Yalom because there were those mountains there and I was curious if there was anything behind it. I mean, I could have probably sailed the ship around the island and I know I've done that in the past, but I don't remember anything being there, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. All right, and then we got wind change, which I don't think I've used much at ever, and then the two exit spells. That's fine. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a few minutes here. We're going to mix up some reagents and I'll come back in a bit. So I'm done. I got done with all my mixing and I went and bought more. Although I, I need to get more. I thought I was getting enough to get 50 of everything. So ginseng is four gold pieces. Let's get another 10. That'll be 40. Okay. So now I've got at least 50 of everything with the exception being nightshade and mandrake. I really have to get more mandrake. Um, but that's we'll worry about that in the future. Uh, still happy with my night with my nightshade. You know, I still have forty two. That's a lot. But I also don't use it a lot in spells. Um, it would mainly be in the jinx spell and the view spell, or really the and it's in the kill spell too. But I'm not going to be mixing those up all the time. So the jinx spell is probably going to be my my main usage of nightshade, and that also uses mandrake. So. All right, so um, the spells I have is I made 21 cure spells and I made 21 heal spells. So those ought to be, oh, I didn't do my fireballs. I'll have to do the, I'll have to do the fireballs. Um, I also made um, mo uh, up to five more negate spells. And I think that was, oh, I added five tremor spells. So let me mix my fireballs and then we'll move on. Okay, so I'm back now. You'll see I made 60 fireball spells. I I also uh, got a reagents uh, stocked up, so back up to above 50. So we're good to go. We're good to go. That's a successful shopping trip there. So now we're going to get back on our ship. And actually, let's take a peek at the map. Uh, take a peek at the map. Take a peek at the map. So we are up here at Scar Bray. So we're going to continue northward following this coast until we get to about DNA here. And we can go visit the Abbey. And I don't know that we'll go in it this episode, but we'll, we will at least uh, get there so that we can be ready to explore it again next episode. So let's board our little ship. And we're just going to go north. And follow the coastline as much as we can. I don't think I need to, it's going to come out to me. Let's just check our position. We're at F and A. So we need to get to like D and A. Almost there. Probably like right about here. D and A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's just 
exit the ship here. Yeah, there's that spittle line. Oh, we got this guy to take care of. You know... Shamino. Janna, you just stay put. In fact, maybe we'll all just stay put. Janna should be able to take him out with the bow, I think. But we got to get him to come over. Get around that rock. He's like he's like you liking using it for cover. All right, now we should be, and hopefully he'll be a one hit from the bow. He is not a one hit from the bow. And the other person there is Iolo, which scares me a bit. I mean, we've gotten through a lot of our gold. If you look, we're at 800 gold. Spent a lot of stuff, a lot of gold. But we're also very well stocked, so that's good news. All right. Oh, boy, Hydra's. Oh. Fireballs. Cast one fireball cell. Oh, what? Uh, you know, these guys are pretty tough. Oh, boy, if only I could, if only I could type. Um, I was going to cast a tremor on them. Let's just see what happens. Tremor. Only one Hydra got killed. Hmm. I guess we'll see if any of these guys are fleeing. All right, well, let's get up into their faces, with the exception of Janna here. I'm going to move her over. These guys don't look like they're fleeing. It's heavily wounded already, so... I'm hoping it does some... That guy's critical. It, I'm hoping it, it imparts some damage to everybody. I guess I don't know that necessarily for a fact, but... Now, I wonder if Mr. Dragon there is fleeing. Okay, he's dead. Let's see, so... I'll bring Janna over. Barely wounded. So that guy, if he got hit by... Maybe he didn't get hurt by the tremor. At all. <sighs> Boy, I'm really, I'm really bad with my finger placement on the keyboard all of a sudden. I keep trying to uh, attack and I... am trying to do something else that makes no sense to me. Okay. We're down to two. And I think that dragon is... Fleeing. But not anymore. He might have been too. All right. Very good. Well, I think we had a pretty successful, um, pretty successful outing. Let's look and see if, uh, yeah. So, Jana, next time we can get to Lord British, can get us, uh, can get up to level three. And so that's a good, cool deal. But maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll use our gates. I mean, I know I can find the Yalom gate, which is right here, but it's such a pain in the arse to find. Maybe we'll use the gate spell to go down to Lord British and we can um, get that done. And uh, we can check and see if anybody else is ready to go as well. But uh, so thanks for watching. I hope you come back for the next one. And until then, be seeing you.